A tree growing on a hillside casts a 102-foot shadow straight down the hill. Find the vertical height of the tree if, relative to the horizontal, the hill slopes 15 degrees and the angle of elevation of the sun is 62 degrees. We can conquer this problem. We'll start by drawing a diagram. Here's a tree. A very skinny tree. We don't know how tall it is. We do know that there is some ground that it is on, and it's, it's on a hill. The angle of that hill is 15 degrees relative to the horizontal. So this angle right here is 15 degrees. The shadow that it casts is 102 feet. I'll write that right in there, 102 feet feet. Now this completing this triangle are the sun's rays which are uh, coming in at an angle of elevation of 62 degrees. So follow this. We've got this in blue is 62 degrees. But we're taking up 15 degrees from this uh, this hillside. So what I have left in yellow, or I'll put it in orange for the shadow, what I have left in orange is 62 minus the 15 degrees. So this angle between the, the ground and the sun coming in is actually just 47 degrees. Okay, so we've got one angle of, of, the, um, of this triangle. And we have one side length. That's not quite enough to, to be able to solve for the green length, but let's continue. This angle right here is going to be the 90 degrees plus the 15. So this is going to be 105 degrees. That's the angle the tree makes with the downslope of the hill. Right, 90 degrees plus another 15 degrees because we're told that the hill has a slope of 15 degrees. Now the last angle, that's just 180 degrees total of a triangle minus the 105 minus the 47. So that's going to give you 28 degrees. Okay, it looks like we have enough in order to solve the height of the tree. I'll say T is the height of the tree. And let's use the law of sines because we have, we have an angle and a side we don't know and an angle and an opposite side we do know. So we can say that the sine of 28 degrees over its opposite side of 102 feet equals the ratio of the sine of 47 degrees divided by its opposite side, which is the tree's height. I'll label it over here as well. T tree, tree's height, T for tree's height. Now, multiply by T and multiply by 102 and divide by sine of 28 degrees, and you get T equals 102 multiplied by sine of 47 degrees. And if you're typing that into your calculator, remember to close the parentheses before you then divide by the sine of 28 degrees. Working all of that out, you get the height of the tree is approximately equal to, rounding here to the nearest foot, 159 feet. A pretty tall tree, pretty tall shadow, on a nice sunny day. There it is, application of surveying.